Hi guys, welcome to another week of Whistle Stop Wednesday videos. This week we're here at Oak Point and there's the nuclear power facility right there and the National Power and Light right there and sandwiched in between is the owner of these two uh, facilities, Red. Red decided to, uh, you know, put his electric supply company right in between so that you could buy your electric supplies right when you come to pay your bills. And with it, this is uh, the latest uh, installment that I got from Menards. And I got this on sale for about 80 bucks and it's pretty darn nice. But I wanted to do something a little bit better. As you can see, there's no lights or interior lighting. So what I did was I ran some LEDs on the inside and I'll bring that right up right now. And you can see it brings it out a little bit better, makes it look like, you know, there's people inside there working. Okay. And on the nuclear facility, look at that. I got some warning lights going all the way around there. And back in here, the national power and light, uh, still the same, but well, I'm going to turn these lights off so you could see what it looks like all along nuclear facility pretty darn nice i like the warning lights on there as you can see up here on snob hill they got a lot of electrical appliances and they upgraded a lot and uh they got new air conditioners they got new heating systems they even trying to be cool like us train nerds and started building layouts up there and what that's doing it's putting a tax on uh the system the whole grid system right in here and hopefully it will be okay but uh right now i don't know if it is yet and looks like oh no what happened oh Oh, there's something going on there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got to see what's going on. Uh-oh. Sounds like the sirens are up. Oh, no. Looks like a big meltdown coming down. Whoa. Man alive. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks pretty darn cool. Look at that. Look at that. Cooling tower is lighting up. It looks like a meltdown. Oh no, we gotta run for our lives. Oh boy. That's pretty cool though, isn't it guys? Pretty darn neat, I kinda like that. And there you have it. Looks like it might be going out. Hazmat's getting there. All right, let's see. Oh, they finally got it under control. Well, there's a couple more flashes. All right, I think they got it under control. Okay, guys, that was my big <laughs> unveiling for this week. But it's a uh, it's pretty neat feature. I got a kick out of doing that. Putting a lot of those LEDs in there. And I got from uh, Evans Designs those flashers that are in the front here. I'll turn them on for a second. You can see those flashers, and that looks pretty neat. Okay, I got to get some kind of bomb going off or something like that, though. And there you have it, right there like that. Pretty neat. And down in here, <clears throat> this is a Lionel accessory that you would hook up to the, the, the tracks and uh, uh, for the, uh, uh, the 180 power supply watt and what I did was I put uh, uh, mp3 player uh, recorder in there and it has the air raid siren going off and I put some LEDs on it there I'm going to put some shrubbery around it so you uh, get that plastic out of there because you need the plastic because it bounces off of that a lot better okay let me shut that off once that is cool though. You wanna listen? 
pretty darn neat. A lot of fun to do. Took a little bit. I kind of like it though. Good air raid siren. From World War II, of course. The big one. Okay, you can shut that off. And without any further ado, I am going to show you guys a engine that I have. And this is, let me start it up. Okay, let me turn on the power first, guys. Okay, there we go. This is a Legacy uh, S2 switcher. And this is the startup sequence. Okay, Then I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see it a little bit better. And this is a little switcher from 2008. It does have smoke in it. It has marker lights on the front right there, number boards. Has a smoke unit in it. Has interior lighting. Has a backup light right there. Pretty cool. But this is a nice little switcher to run around this little layout that I have right in here. And I'll put the smoke on. Look at the smoke, it looks pretty good. Here's the crew talk. Uh, this is 1031. How's the lead look? Am I clear? Over. Roger, 1031. The lead is all clear. Over. It does have a nice little creepy. Creeping uh, speed to it. And it does go at a nice clip, too. But when you're going right around here, I kind of like to take it nice and slow. And you can see it going through the tipple. And let's get it to work for you guys once. Oh, we'll back it up. Being that it has the backup light on it. I'm going to back it up once we get that red LED lit. Whoop. Right there. Okay. And we will dump that. I still like this accessory. Like I said, for 150 bucks, it didn't work, but it works really good right now. Just took a while to, to fix up, and it's a bear once you take this thing apart. And there you go. And let's see if we're going in reverse. Let's go forward, and we'll take it around one more time. And there you go, guys. We'll bring it around. And it's a nice little switcher. It's a pain to work on. I had to change a couple of things on the inside there that I've broken off. And to get it apart and to get it on, back on together, it's, it's a real treat. There's a lot of stuff that's crammed up in there. Okay, guys, here's the check down. Here. We're in the clear. Going to be out. And you, on these early uh, legacy, you have to shut off the light right there. Okay, guys, I hope you liked it. Uh, from Oak Point, again, there's some flashes going on. Let me turn it on one last time. For you guys to get to look at that, that's pretty cool. Alright guys, hope you liked it. From Oak Point, out.